So nine competitors and Leon Dreisaitl first up. We mentioned number two in goals, putting that big paddle to work. I love Interesting the, to see, uh, sorry guys, if he if he stops the puck and settles it down so there's no spin before he shoots it or it's just catch and release and, and let it go, right? Because it doesn't matter if uh, how fast you are if you don't get four in a row. I love the old time styrofoam bringing that back. Four targets back this time. Leon was second in 2020. This is where your brain starts to melt down. You, you miss a few, and it's unlike anything you have in a game. And you can tell he's a bit rattled. This is what Johnny Gaudreau was talking about. He's seeing guys when you miss a few, you start overthinking, and now all of a sudden, what seems so easy becomes so difficult. Yep. <laughs> a little frustration. Is he such a good goal scorer because he doesn't know where he's shooting the puck? He so doesn't the goalie think. doesn't either? Absolutely. I think it's the thinking like anything. A little bit of paralysis by analysis. When he reacts, that's when he's at his best. And when he missed those two in a row, you could just see it started to affect him. Two years ago, they had five targets. He did it in seven shots in 10.25 seconds. So it was a lot different tonight. Yeah, you said it's just unlike anything you do in the game, free flowing game of hockey where you're just standing by yourself and everybody's got their eyes on you. Uh, Cam Talbot saying, hey, you don't have that much trouble when you're going against me. <laughs> you find the hole every time. Well, here's Clayton Keller of the Arizona Coyotes, his second All-Star game, a 17-goal scorer this year. It's time to be 36. Point five, four, three, that's one. You see him now going to the stick handle, right? Every time he's caught in stick handled once, he's got hit the target. That's yeah, there you go again. He had to settle it down that's and that's recovered pretty well. His first couple, he tried to catch and release it, and then the ones that he got the top ones, he stuck stick handle a couple times, settled the puck down, and had a little bit better accuracy there. Kind of interesting, the rhythm he had. He had his stick up in the air each time, and then just tried to bring it back down, try to get himself into a little rhythm. Watch how he puts it up high, and as it comes, corral it down. I thought he was going to one-time that. Yeah, it looked, it looked like, like he might have. So that's that's the time to beat, but it's going to get beat. Find out if the next man up will do that, Rasmus Dahlin. I would have bet on you way back in the day, the best shooting percentage in NHL history. Yeah, he didn't have to think, though, in the game. I, I, I've done this at, not at an all-star game, but at the skills competition, and it can rattle you. Here's Dahlin, the only defenseman. And a pretty solid start here. Two out of three. Seven goals on the year. This for the lead. Good. Good piece of yeah. Got a little piece of that one, uh, Kevin. Just a touch, huh? He was very smooth there. Very smooth and calm. I mean, it's no surprise. He, he's such a smooth player, and he's so deceptive with the puck. And, Made that look easy, didn't he? Yeah, he did. He, he saw Ray Bork and just how effective he was. There's the, the whiff. He gets a redo and just barely up ticks the corner of the white on that last one. Everybody in Vegas gets a redo. We've learned that today. <laughs> Ready to pulverize the well, there's some numbers. Simmer and Simmer at the top of the list. I don't think standing still in the slot and shooting at targets is a lot more difficult than just playing the game. And the guy, number four, well, Paul McClay did too, but Michael Bossy knew how to find the back of the net. Here's Sebastian Ajo having yeah. a tremendous season with that's four for four. Did he get that one? Does he, he get a got it? He wants wow. to get credit for 10.9. There's your leader. Gordy Dwyer took a look at that, the third one, yep. and he signaled late. Well, what a player he is. And there's not much of a better story this year than the Carolina Hurricanes and just how effective they've been. This is one of their young leaders. That one smashed, easy to see. Let's see that top one. Oh yeah, yep. he just got the bottom, right? And then a nice clutch to be able to get a piece of that one. And Ajo gets the signal that all four are gone. With the first, 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 first.
Well, there's the standard to beat, Johnny. Yeah, I'm in trouble. <laughs> What's your method going to be? Are you going to overhandle it, like stick handle a bit, or just sort of curl and shoot? Uh, I would like the stick handle, but I feel like it wastes too much time. Well, there's uh -oh. another guy that knows how to find the back of the net. Uh -oh. oh, that would have been the leader, but pretty good performance by Jake Gitzel. Five times, got, 20 goal scores. He got a rolling pass on his third one, I think. That's why he missed it. But rolled on him. Did you see that, Johnny, or no? I missed it. I can't see from right down here. You're up next. So you're okay, down there. Okay. Right here. Yeah, he had good control. Then the last one just a little bit to the right, but he bared down and finished it off. Next man to the line from the Anaheim Ducks, Troy Terry. Well, here's young Troy Terry, an Olympian in 2018, and now tied for sixth in the league of goals with 26. Troy's having a tough time with the rotation. Left, right, left, what? That's three. That's four. 13, four, nine for Terry. 25 goals for Troy. 26 is coming soon. Well, and again, what a year he is having. He said about Sebastian Ajo in Carolina on the West Coast. Terry is leading his team, an Anaheim team that's finding its way, and he's just really calmly took that last one and put it exactly where he needed to. Second in the league in game winning goals with seven. Okay, Johnny, here we go. Talk us through it, Johnny, where you're going here. Oh, fuck. Oh, I'm in one. Oh, wrong side. That's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. There we go. 17. That's not it. You missed that, you missed that first one. You knew you were in one, yeah, didn't you? Yeah, I knew I was in one when I missed the first shot. Oh, well. How was your, how was your passes? Did you get good passes? Oh, I'm going to blame it on the passers, obviously. It was terrible. That's why I didn't win. <laughs> You're used to playing with better players, aren't you? Nah, they were good passes. It's my own fault. <laughs> well, here's the great veteran Patrice Bergeron. 10.937. Score to beat. Not the start he wanted. He's hit the same spot three times in a row. Now gets it over to the right. He gets that first one. There's two. Three. So he didn't bring any of the Ray Bork magic from Boston. You know, it's almost like playing darts. They, when you start aiming so hard, you're not putting it where you want. It's the free flow like we saw from Sebastian Ajo that's going to be the final one to beat for the hometown boy is Jonathan Marcheseau has an opportunity to try to bring this home for his home crowd. Last to the line. Romeo. Marcheseau was a late ad and we've seen a lot of him tonight. Just the guy embracing a chance to perform before the hometown. And, and he jumped the gun. Yeah. They got it too quick. <laughs> Got a practice pass and he nailed it. He <laughs> he is competitive. Yeah, he wants he, to get going. He doesn't want to waste that one, does he, Kev? You get one for one and it doesn't even count. They got excited. They started early. Wait for the referees. Where am I going? Gave up a trip oh, to one. Cabo San Lucas to uh, be here tonight as an addition. There's one. Got a roll from here and it. It's not gonna happen. Won't be a hometown winner. <laughs> there we go. Now if he'd only started a little earlier when he nailed the first one, but there's your winner, Sebastian Ajo. Boy, the sharp suit shooter tonight. And there you see Kevin sitting down beside the winner. <laughs> I'm making myself comfortable here. Pretty, pretty flawless there. You look pretty comfortable. How'd that feel? I mean, yeah. Um, I was actually pretty nervous, but as soon as I hit the first one, I was like, all right, it's uh, it's not that too bad. So uh, I, that got me going.
You look, you were nervous? Uh, a little bit, yeah. You didn't look like it. You've been here a couple All-Star games now. You're getting more and more comfortable. You're obviously one of the top players in the league, and you know, you just keep getting better. I mean, yeah, that's the plan. I mean, uh, obviously, I think uh, I can still be a better player, and uh, I just work every day for that. And uh, I got to say, I had a great passer down there, so that helped a lot to me. So. Look at that. Giving a little praise to the passers. Good for you. Congratulations. Enjoy the weekend. Thanks, man.